Hello, and on today's Working with Wonder, we're going into the underlying cause of death, and we're going to be aggregating onto variables. Year as per usual, but also sex. Um, so what I'm going to be demonstrating is what happens, okay, gender, sorry, sex is a dirty word. Anyway, okay, so what I'm going to be demonstrating is how aggregation works. And I picked gender because there's two categories that are going to come out of this when I pick gender. Um, and let me click off all of what's coming for me. That includes age adjusted rate. And I'm going to actually let me show you what happens when you don't name your query and it's okay to not name your query um, so far i've not been getting involved in these other portions i'm just staying up in this uh, section number one organized table layout uh, for these first few videos so i just hit send Okay, deaths occurring through 2019. And notice I didn't title it. They are titling it. Okay. So what happens here in the aggregation? I asked for aggregation by year, then gender. And this is going to cause problems when I export it and want to graph in Excel. Because this table isn't set up the way I'd like it to be set up in order to graph. Um, I will note, um, so you see these totals rows, so it'll do a total for each of these years. And if I go all the way to the right, so we see these percent of total deaths, you know, so it will give me the percents per year, so yay. Um, hmm. This isn't in a useful form. Now, I could get rid of these totals. If I go into the quick options, I can hide these total rows. Okay, so it's still a little better. Um, and if I export it, so let me just show you what happens when I export it. Okay, when I do year then gender, I get female, male, female, male, female, male. And if I wanted to do a graph of female then male, well, okay, I could take this data this graph and I got rid of the total so that will actually make things simpler and then I could resort this data okay and there's nothing wrong with that as a process that said um, I'd really like to get it all done in my data draw especially if I had a lot of draws to do I don't necessarily want to be doing all of this in Excel and if I get into a discipline of aggregating you know, the variables in the order that I want them so that it's already sorted, as it were, um, that I get the data out the way I want it because generally I extract the data and I just dump it into like a raw data page. I generally don't want to touch the data once I, I put it into like say an Excel file, I will actually have a separate sheet in which I do my analysis. Um, and that's how I operate. So if I go back to the request form, so I can go back and you'll see it still has what I had before in all of the items. Let's switch the order in which they occur. So I want gender first and then I want year see then year okay let's send aha and so now notice the order it goes in it goes in the order in which things were aggregated and I think I mentioned this in the prior video but just to make sure I can move so let me just say well, you know I'm not interested in the standard rate I could move the columns left and right Oh, I moved it in the wrong direction. Eh. Okay, this is not a great interface. <laughs> might be This is one of those things that might be better to do in Excel. Uh, deaths and population. I want the crude rate to the right. I mean to the, well, okay, let's see if it does it right. Okay, that was right. 
and then the age adjust. Yeah, I wanted the crude rate and age adjusted rate right next to each other just so that it's easier to look head to head. So I get the female all together and then the female total. I don't like having the totals. Let me get rid of the totals again. So go to quick options. I'm going to hide the totals row. And so the totals are gone. So now it's going to be very easy for me to export. So this is gender, then year. And then if I want to make a graph, okay, now when we look at our crude death rate per 100,000 population, um, we actually see the crude rate for male and females were pretty close in the early 2000s and then diverged quite a bit. Um, so that's an interesting pattern. And remember, that's just number of deaths per 100,000 population. And yes, it's per 100,000 population for males and then for females. Um, so let's look at the age adjusted death rate for these two. So now that we have age adjusted death rate, you see a very different pattern. Um, yeah, so in general, the death rates for men and women are coming down. I'll do a future video where I show how you aggregate uh, for different age groupings, and there's different age groupings that are supported in Wonder, um, and I'll show you how to do that at different levels. Um, but age-adjusted death rate, uh, for those who haven't heard an explanation before, what it is is where you take a set of weights um, that are normalized to a particular population. Um, so you're assuming a certain population distribution of ages. And that's why the crude rate and the age-adjusted death rate are so different. Um, women in general skew much older than men because women live longer. On average, um, the I'm trying to remember the life expectancy gap again, but it's several years between female and male from birth. Uh, and even in uh, retirement, it's like three years or so, like at age 65, it's about a three year life expectancy difference. Um, and that's current uh, statistics uh, and ignoring the pandemic and all of that. Um, <laughs> yeah, the, once the 2020 numbers come in, woo, uh, this is going to look really ugly because we already know that men were actually hit worse with regards to COVID. And then I know that some of the excess mortality in 2020 was from other stuff. But given that you're here for working with Wonder, we're going to ignore 2020 right now. This only goes through 2019. Um, <laughs> so we have male and female. The crude death rate um, pattern differs very differently because you have a changing age structure of the population over time. And when I do my age adjusted death rate, I am forcing the age structure to pretend to be the same. And then I'm taking the death rates for the different age groupings and then doing a weighted average. So what we're finding out is that in general, for both males and females, that their mortality has been, you know, trending down. So that's, it's been improving. Uh, over this period from 1999 to 2019, but there is a, rel a, a pretty large mortality gap between males and females. Uh, we'll see that it differs at different ages quite a bit uh, when we look in future videos, um, but the whole point of this video was to show you going back to wonder, um, that it does make a difference. I mean, you get the same numbers coming out, uh, no matter what order you aggregate in, because ultimately the numbers they give you are going to be for the cell female and 1999. Um, you can put totals rows in. Okay, so when I do totals rows and I aggregate this way, that's going to give me a totals for all females if I aggregate in this direction. And so then I can see what is this kind of weighted average for crude rate and age adjusted rate over this whole period. If I go back to the request form and go back to our original, 
So if we do this, we have the year, male and female separately, but we also get the totals for them combined. And this is a weighted average of crude rate and age adjusted rate. It's not a mere simple um, average. And that's something that you need to look at uh, that it's not as simple as you think uh, with regards to getting these rates. So if you want to do some comparisons of subgroups and then their aggregated group, um, you can export it with the totals. So actually, let me show you that. Okay, so this is where you would have to be careful. And I'm going to um, do this so we can see the headers. Okay. Um, so because now you have these totals rows in here. So we have a gender code. And this would be, you might want to put something in here that flag that it's all genders. Um, that this is an aggregate row. Um, in which case, and actually this is something you could do. So I'm going to just do it. So I just turned turned this upper area into what's called a data table. And now I'm going to reorganize this and sort. OK, so now I have the total rows at the top. OK, actually, I want to let's see if I can make this happen. OK, sorry, I did figure out what I needed to do um, for the item I needed to do it with. Uh, so there is still something somewhat problematic. I do have this total row that's total for everything. Um, I might just need to skip it. Uh, but what I needed to do was I needed to uh, sort on the gender column first, sort A to Z, uh, the blanks came first, then female and then male. Then I sorted on this notes column, the totals came first, uh, then the blanks, the way I did it. Okay, and I already had the years in ascending numerical order. So then what happened is I have three uh, numerical I do have three, um, sorry, I have three series now that I can graph. I have my female, I have my male. They're in, you know, consecutive order, so it's easy for me to graph them. And now I have my total. This is the, com the, the total population crude rate and the total population age adjusted. Great. So let's add that to our graphs. So now let's look at our new graphs. We've got the total population. Of course, it's going to be between male and female. Um, and I think for crude rate, it's pretty close in between. But for age adjusted rate, it's a little I'm, I'm just eyeballing it here. I think it's a little closer to female than male, um, which may not be that so surprising given there are more females in the population than males, if I remember correctly. And again, that's mostly due to women living longer than men. Um, in any case, uh, there are ways around around it. The order of aggregation you can deal with like you saw what I did here, I turned it into a data table, or you can filter your data and sort it. And then when you sort it, now it's in the order in which it's easy to graph. I was just graphing it um, to make some nice graphs. And if you want to analyze it, then there's other things you can do as well. But I will treat with that in future videos. So I'll do some more exploring with wonder in future videos and you go play with it yourself and uh, see what you can do with it. Bye.